All right. Well, this is a little different. Um, today we're going to talk about a neck knife from Demco Knives. Um, comes in a little cardboard box. And I also have a an AD20.5 Slim here. Just for comparison, I'll probably dive into this one and do a separate video because this is the first Slim version I have uh, had the, the opportunity to mess with. Aluminum scales, uh, you know, there's some stuff. We'll talk about that most likely in another video just because. This one is interesting. It comes to me from Alice over at Ali Paracord. She needs no introduction. There will be a link down below. You know the deals, right? Um, this, this does not come with, okay? This is something that Alice made. It is her new neck lanyard. So it's, I don't know, it's not 550 paracord. It's something different, you know, whatever. It works really well, looks cool. Um, it has this like safety pull apart clasp um, so that it, you don't get choked if this gets, you know, yanked or whatnot, if you're in a struggle, you know, that kind of thing. So it does have safety built in and you've got this knife, which is kind of cool. It's really cool for the price. It's 20 bucks. I, I, like seriously, I, I know these are made in Taiwan, but how do you make just this package for literally being sold for $19.99 at Knife Center? I, I don't know how you make money at 20 bucks. So what does this cost them? Like $1.93 to, to make? Like, cause there's gotta be markup for Demco. There's gotta be markup for Knife Center. Like, you know, Everybody's got to get their piece of the pie and step on it and get their percentage of whatever. That's a whole different topic. It's it's a cool little knife. Like that's like for 20 bucks, I think it's a good deal. Um it is just 4034 stainless steel. It is a full tank construction. It is a rubberized handle. And it is a Kydex sheath. It's not plastic. It's, it is um, Kydex. So that's kind of cool. What it comes with is the, the, the keychain ring, um, whatever you call it, split ring. Um, and then it has like a keychain hook so that you can hook it to um, your belt loop, to your keychain, to, you know, whatever. Like you, that's what it comes with. Um, in this configuration that Alice put together, there was another ring in between. So forgive me, it, it got damaged. The retention is a little strong for me. When I was wearing this and I reached up and I yanked it out, it literally bent the other split ring, the, the tiny round cheesy one and pulled the whole sheath off. Okay, that's fine and dandy. I'll, I'll fix that, Alice, don't worry. Um, so what I did is I just put the normal split ring onto the lanyard. Now the problem is the way that it kind of sits around the neck, it, it kind of needs another thing to be rotated some um, because it wants to sit like this and be sticking out against my chest this way now. So it really needs one more ring to change the axis to be this way. Not a big deal. However, again, the retention is a bit strong because oftentimes now if I yank it, if I reach up slowly and kind of use my thumb and whatnot, it works fine. If I just reach up, yank and go, it there's enough retention that it's just opening this around my neck. So I think the retention is too tight. There are no screws, so you can't really adjust it. I guess you could heat it up and then change it. It's not my knife. 
just something to be aware of. Maybe this one is a tighter grip sheath than the other $20 ones, but you know, I don't know. One other thing that I of note, and then we'll get into the specs. I'll tell you what it weighs. Like, I mean, whatever. It's 0 0.09 ounces for just the knife. This whole package with the lanyard from Alice is 1.8 ounces. So it will disappear. The other thing is it goes into the sheath in either orientation, which I think is good and bad because... There's no way to really index this as it's bouncing around on your chest. And you may go to grab it and it may be the opposite direction because there is no way to tell on the handle. The handle's totally neutral both direction. Well, that, now that I'm looking at it, that's not true. Well, I've been looking at it, but it is smooth on the edge side and there is some texturing on the spine side. So you can now index it, I guess. I, yeah. Okay, so I take back my earlier statement. You can tell the difference. Um, but still, I don't know that that's enough. And I think you may deploy this in a quick, you know, hastily way. You potentially could deploy it with the blade facing you. Okay, this is the uh, Armager 2. It does come with the sheep's foot blade or the shark foot blade, plain or serrated, and a clip point blade, also plain or serrated. This could be a very good utility use knife, something that is on, it, it's a little big for your keychain. The dimensions on this is four and a half. Let me zoom back out a little bit. Uh, is four and a half inches overall, 1.97 inch blade, and a little bit less, 0 0.183 on the on the edge, because they do give you a little tiny sharpening choil. Behind the edge is 0 0.021. The blade thickness is 0 0.069. The overall thickness of the handle, it kind of swells, so it does feel okay in your hand. Right about here at its thickest is 0 0.7, uh, sorry, 0 0.478. It is a three finger knife. Like you're only going to get three fingers on the grip. So this is not like hard use. This is, um, you know, dare I say, last ditch emergency defense knife, even though uh, I am not some ghetto knife fighter uh, or, or anything like that. I think there are way better options. Um, the last thing I am ever going to do is get into a fight with a knife. I think that's just a silly, dumb idea. And the chances of things being really, really bad at that point are significant. So um, I want to engage my fights. Well, never, because you never lose a fight you don't get into, if that makes sense. Um, I am much more into the de-escalation, escape and evade type of situations. Um, yeah. So, but yes, you could use this as a last ditch effort if you want. It would be a good box cutter. It would be a good letter opener. It'd be a good like sitting on your desk at the office type of a thing. You know, for that, it, it's actually really good. I'm not a big neck knife person. I think I have one or two that I've owned throughout the years. Um, not something I ever carry um, partially because I live in California and partially because I think it just mostly looks silly. But that's just me. Other than that, I think it's cool. And for 20 bucks, I don't know that you can go wrong. This would be a really good, like, I know it's late in the game. It's probably after Christmas by the time you see this. Good stocking stuffer, a good gift to ship somebody for 20 bucks. Y you can't go wrong. The blade profile is just like it's bigger brothers. Um, so that's kind of cool how they did that. And yeah, you know, I, I, for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. So if you're interested in something like this, I'll put a link to Knife Center down below. And if you're in the, in the need for or looking for a neck lanyard, 
Um, hit up Alice. Her link will be down below also. And there is a promo code that she has been so gracious to provide to my viewers to get a little discount. So there you go. Don't know what the, these lanyard, neck lanyards cost, but all of her prices have been very good throughout the years. She's done some things for me and it's, you know, 20, 30 bucks worth of work. So I think you get a good bang for your buck having her do any kind of paracord, um, what do you even call it? Weaving? I guess. I'm not sure what you call it. But whatever this calls, braiding, weaving, whatever you want her to do, she's very reasonable at it. So give her a give her a shout. There you go. I've rambled enough. Have a great day. I think I have a Demco playlist I'll put up in the corner. Go check it out. I've done a bunch of Demco videos. And um, let me know your thoughts.